what's going on everyone, this is 007JK back with another episode of Balloons Tower Defense 6. Now this was a pain in the butt and a half just to set up to my laptop, so hopefully, bear in mind that this very well could stop at any time, so I'm really, really hoping that it stays connected through the entire process. So, today we have a challenge that we're going to be doing. The challenge today is to reveal the three uh, most secret uh, things in Bloons Tower Defense 6, from what I can tell anyway. The first is with the hero, Adora, right here. Adora the High Priestess. Adora's devotion compels her to strike blood, sorry, balloons down with furious vengeance. Alright, so Adora, when she reaches her max level with the Ball of Light, she, uh, she gets like a, a much better outfit like most of the other uh, heroes do. However, there is a way to get her stronger than just, at le just level 20. And we're going to work, work on that, as well as the map we're going to be playing on is, uh, let's find it real quick, Adora's Temple. So if we put Adora on Adora's Temple, and then we activate a secret tower, it changes the look of the entire map. The third thing, so the first is the look and power of Adora. The second thing is the look of the map around it. And the third thing is the secret tower. The secret tower is the vengeful sun god, I believe. If Now if we go back to our monkeys, if we look at the super monkey, the true sun god is the high is probably the most powerful tower in the game. However, we can make it even stronger. If there there's a special sequence of events that we can use on the, to get this tower to when we finally upgrade it to the true sun god, it will get even power more powerful and become the I think it's the avatar or the vengeful sun god or avatar of the vengeful sun god or something like that. So, what we're going to be doing is we're going to try and attempt this challenge to the best of our ability. So, we're going to go, whoops, uh, we're going to go to Adora's Temple. We're going to put it on easy because it is still going to be very difficult to do this challenge. And we're going to put it on standard. Alright, here we go. So, in order to get this temple, we need first the Super Monkey, which is expensive, going the most expensive route... So we need a lot of money. Oh, here we go. That's so cool. We also need a Dora up as well. And we need to be able to sacrifice towers to the Super Monkey. So what we're going to do is we're going to first start off the Dark Monkey there, 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 and there. So we're going to start off with four Dark Monkeys just to keep us alive. And we're going to try and survive as long as we can. So first thing we need to get out is Adora as soon as possible. I just wanted the four dart monkeys so that we could be fairly secure in getting far enough to get Adora. Once we get Adora then we need to upgrade some of the monkeys to be able to see camos and then we should be good until around wave 40 as far as hitting all types of balloons. So let's just wait I think one more round. Yeah, during this round, we probably will make enough money to get Adora. We're getting close. We're going to put Adora up at the top. Let's see if we can fit her. Let's put her right there. There we go. So now we can hit lead. So now what we want to do is we want to get some banana farms as soon as we can. That's going to be a bit. We're also going to look at our... Or sorry, not Adora's upgrades. Sorry, my bad. Okay, power-ups. We could also use some cash drops if we really get desperate, but I think we'll be okay for now. We also want to try and make as much money as possible because it's going to be very, very expensive. Not just getting the most expensive tower. We're also going to be needing to sacrifice a lot to it. We're already on round nine. We're doing pretty good. What level is Adora? Level three. Okay. There we go. We got ourselves our first banana farm right there. 
Okay. We're also going to look up the power-ups and put down a monkey farmer right there. We're going to put down a couple more banana farms as soon as we can. Let's get long-lasting bananas and greater production as soon as we can. So now let's see what we can upgrade. We could probably get these guys to enhanced eyesight so they can actually see camos. Let's get him up there and get him close to that and one more to enhance eyesight there we go okay we should be pretty good we can hit all types of balloons up to 40 um let's let's try and find a good place to put the super monkey if it'll even no, it won't let us drag him, so we can't really find a good spot for now. But we're still doing pretty good. Okay. Now we should be making uh, sufficient enough mo money. We can start placing down some other towers. Let's put down a druid right there. And let's get him to Heart of Thunder so that he can start hitting a lot more of the map. The and let me see. This guy's Superstorm is pretty expensive so that's good we want to pretty much the most expensive parts of most of the monkey upgrades we also would like to get a sniper monkey as well I'm pretty sure you can fit yeah right there let's see if we can get that there we go okay and we'll get him to faster firing and the full metal jacket as well he can't hit camos but he'll be able to fire very quickly and that's what we want all right, starting to make some more money, and we seem to be pretty good on our defenses. So now we're going to be saving up for the super monkey to be able to put him down. Luckily, all of our dart monkeys can hit camos, so we're pretty good. All right, so now we're going to put down the super monkey close to Adora, as close as we can get to Adora. All right, come on, come on. Is that, is that close we can get? We could probably get closer, I think. Can we fit the super monkey up top here? Come on. Come on. Maybe on this side of the door? Nope, looks like uh, there's probably going to be our best bet for the super monkey. So with the super monkey, we want him to be able to hit uh, camos. So we're going to be going the bottom route so he gets ultra vision. And then we're going to go uh, the route of the true sun god. Or... We do need a lot of monkeys to be able to fit inside of his radius, so we may have to increase his radius. For now, we're going to get... Well, let's just uh, upgrade the Sun Temple. Okay, what level is Adora? Level 7. Okay, Adora has to be to level 20 when we make this final transformation. So now we just need a crap ton more money. So let's go this, this route, and hopefully he can help get us some money as well. That is 4,000. Let's see. Whoops. Do I have a tech bot? I do have a tech bot. We can hook it up to him for his jungle bounty. If we need it. Alright, there's the Moab. Ugh. We'll, wait, we'll let the super monkey take care of him. There we go. And... There we go. We passed easy mode. However, we're going to continue with free play. Okay, we're going to... Just click play and get Plasma Blast. Now we need the Sun Avatar, and then we're going to start sacrificing. So let's start with the primary towers. With it, Okay, so the way this works is you have to spend, I want to say, 50,000? Uh, let's look at the Bomb Tower upgrades. Yeah, because the balloon... Yeah, it's 50 thousand dollars I think in every single category except for uh, support towers so 50,000 in primary 50,000 in military and 50,000 in magic so we're gonna start with the primary so we're gonna go not him because he's actually fairly cheap we're gonna go with the bomb tower put you right there Okay, and we're just going to upgrade you the top route with the Balloon Crush. And then, 
what's the most expensive out of these two? Probably the middle route. Okay, so we're going to go the middle route and the top route for you. Okay, we're getting there. We're getting there. Okay, and then we got need the balloon crush for that. After that, we need... And that's probably going to be enough, I think. Let's see, that's only about 4,000 more. So no, that isn't going to be enough. So we need a little bit more primary within his radius. Um, hopefully when he gets to the Sun Avatar, his radius gets bigger so we can fit more balloons in there. Let's go with the Boomerang Monkey. Right there. And we'll go probably the, yeah, the Kylie Boomerang route. So we'll just go this way. More press. There we go. That should be uh, good enough for the primary. We just need to get him up to Balloon Crush. Next, we need the military. So luckily, inside of his uh, radius is the Sniper Monkey. Let's see. Sniper Monkey's Cripple Moab is much more expensive than the Elite Defender. That's 34000 Plus about a thousand, I guess, for there. So we'll get the Cripple Moab, and then we'll probably get a another, uh, probably a second Sniper Monkey going the. Uh, let's see, probably going the adult Elite Defender route because that'll probably be close, close enough to it. So we'll put another Sniper Monkey. Let me see. Let me see his radius. Yeah, we could probably put a sniper monkey right there. -ish. Come on. Can we not put one there? Dang it, can we put one next to Adora? Right there, maybe? No? How, where's his radius? Okay. So this is going to be a little bit more difficult than I thought. Okay. So he will go the uh, elite defender route. And I think that's enough military. Hopefully this works. We're probably going to need uh, another banana farm, to be honest. So let's get another banana farm up. Oh, the Moab Domination is actually 51,000. We could actually do that for the primary. So let's actually sell this bomb tower. And we'll get this. That'll uh, fix our primary. And then and for him, we'll just get him up to delete defender when we can. Okay. What level is Adora? Level 8. Okay. Oh, we should have sacrificed that, balloon, that bomb tower to Adora. Adora has... A special ability where she can yeah I know you're growing rest restless she can sacrifice a tower to gain experience which is actually much more beneficial than buying the experience via money essentially well for right now we've got our two military towers we've got our primary now all we need is our magic so as far as our magic tower goes I think the balloon master Sorry, not Balloon Master, the uh, Alchemist going the uh, Permanent Brew. Yes, the Permanent Brew is uh, good enough for us. So we're actually, he is just barely outside of this. So we're actually going to sacrifice him to Adora. Or that was the Druid, actually. I'm going to put the Alchemist right there and start getting him up to Permanent Brew. We'll just get that for right now. Okay, we just need money by this point. Money, money, money. Yeah, Super Monkey can pop those leads. I'm not worried about those. There we go. Oh, 700. Okay. Sun Avatar. Ooh, his radius did expand. That's good. So now we need the Sun Temple, which is $85,000. Now, we are going to wait in between rounds to get him up to the Sun Temple because... We don't want any balloons coming through while it's transforming, and therefore the balloons could possibly get through. So, we're just going to wait on that for a while. We're just going to stop the wave, upgrade them, and then we're going to have a chance to put down more towers in case we need it. One eternity later. Okay, at this point I'm going to turn off the auto start so that we can, in between rounds, level up the... Uh, Avatar, because all we need, we need about 15,000 more dollars, and that's it. So we're getting pretty dang close. Uh-oh, they're getting, they're getting very far. I, I do not like that. I do not like that at all. Come on, Sun Avatar, you can do it. Shred those reinforced BADs. Sorry, BFBs. 
All right, let's withdraw that, and here we go. As long as we've done everything correctly, we should be able to upgrade the to the Sun Temple. That took forever. We're already on round 98. So let's click right here. The temple demands sacrifice. All nearby towers will be destroyed, enhancing the temple's incredible power in different ways. You have been warned. Do it. There we go. And now, the sacrifices begin all over again. We, uh, we need 50,000 50, in primary, 50,000 in military, 50,000 in magic, and now we need 50,000 in support as well. So let's see. Let's see which one is probably... Oops. Uh, let's look at the primary towers and see which one is probably the most expensive. Uh, Plasma Monkey Fan Club is 42,000, so that's close. Mob Domination is 51,000. We could probably get that one again. However, near the Sun Temple, I believe he makes things cheaper, so that may not be enough. We may have to get a Dart Monkey and a Boomerang Monkey. But for right now, let's put the Boomerang Monkey right there. And we also need two towers out here. We need the Dark Champion, and we also need the Tech Terror outside of its radius to be sacrificed to it, as well as everything that's around it as well. So, right now we have the Boomerang Monkey, which probably will be enough, but just in case, let's put down a Dart Monkey as well. Okay, and now we're going to start the next round and hope we can survive. So we've got some of the primary towers down. We also need to get some of the military towers down. Let's look at the military real quick. Let's see... Let's see, we have Cripple Moab, which is 34,000. We have... Uh, the Summoning Monkey is pretty cheap. So is the Monkey Buccaneer. The Monkey Ace's Flying Fortress is really expensive. So let's get down... Let's put down that one. Right there. That looks like it's barely in range. So actually, let's sell that and let's make sure we can get it in range. So let's put that... As close as we can. Okay, that's definitely in range. Okay, we need to get this guy up to Flying Fortress, and we'll get Spy Plane as well so we can help us out with the DDTs. And we'll get him to going... Well, let's get him going the uh, Crossbow Master route. And let's get him going the Moab Domination route. So we'll get him going the bottom route with some faster throwing. Okay, so we have military and primary. We, next, we need magic and support. We gotta wait for him to get in range of Adora before we can use Adora's second ability. I think, yeah, he's in range now. And by the way, Adora is now level 17. Adora has to get up to level 20 before the next upgrade of the Sun Temple, which I think we're, should be very possible. Oh, jeez, that thing. That thing's taking a beating. Oh, jeez. Okay, we got the DDTs down. Okay, let's put it that. Okay. All right, and we got a Insta Monkey, a Monkey Village. Nice. And I think that's actually in Monkey Intelligence Bureau, to be honest. Okay, Central Market, upgrade. And then let's go from there. Okay. So we have our military and our primary. Let's look into magic now. Let's see. Blue Master out. Okay, permanent brew. We're going to need him. Let's put him somewhere where he can hopefully hit Adora as well. There we go. Get him going. Bruh. I messed up. I went him going the wrong route. Sorry. There we go. We need him going the permanent brew route. So that's our magic tower. And then as far as our support tower goes, we can put down a spike factory right there and have him going the top route. And the top route of the spike factory, yeah, that's like 150,000. So we're well, so we're really, really good on that one. And now the ball of light can hit the DDTs. Nice. All right. 
So right now we're on wave 111. We still need to get our anti-balloon, the dark champion. We need to get the permanent brew, the uh, Moab domination. We need to get crossbow master. And we need to get the flying fortress as well as the super mine. So a lot of money is what we need, essentially. Let's look at our banks. There we go. Go, Adora is now max level, at level 20. That's what we want for this next upgrade. Much, much, much later. Come on. Ah, oh, we got so close. Okay, we're going to continue. Hopefully get a lot more money. Okay, let's run it again. Let's see how well we do. And uh, hopefully we don't die. Those reinforced DDTs are really kicking our butts. Luckily we have the Dark Champion, so we will survive, but it's... Oh jeez. Okay, so we didn't have to use his ability yet. We'll probably will have to use him when the BAD comes through. But hopefully we can survive. My phone is lagging. Oh no. Come on! Okay, the Legend of the Night saved us on that BAD. However, I'm not sure we can survive much longer besides that. We're gonna try. We're definitely gonna try, but I don't know if we can. Come on. Ah! We were so close. Unfortunately, we couldn't beat round 140. Unfortunately, I didn't put down a nearly enough uh, banks or money-making towers. We just couldn't get the money in time. So, 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to try my best to set it up in sandbox mode. And I'm going to try and re-explain everything to you guys as we do so. Alright. So, we're going to go to monkeys. So first, we're going to put down Adora. And then just level her up all the way to level 20. Alright, now we do need a crap ton of money for this, and I don't know if Sandbox provides enough. So, we're going to do our best to be, just get what we need. So first off, we need a Super Monkey right next to Adora. We need to level him up to Sun Avatar, Ultra Vision, so he can hit Camo. We also want to get, so we also want to put down enough, and uh, try, sorry, enough in primary and military and magic. So what we're going to do is we're going to get the Moab Domination. Uh, let, let's see where his radius is. Okay, let's put get, put him right there. Get him up to Moab Domination. Okay. We also need enough in military, which is going to be the which is going to be the uh, plane. Oh, wait, we can't put the plane down. Okay. Let's see. Let's put down a couple of sniper monkeys then. Okay, and we'll put down another sniper monkey. And we'll put him down right next to the sun avatar. There we go. And we'll get him to be Elite Sniper. And now we'll get a Permanent Brew. Let's see if there's a good spot for him. Uh, looks like right there. Yeah, he's in the radius. So let's get him up to Permanent Brew. Okay. So we've got our Primary, our Military, and our Magic. So now we will... Sacrifice in order to get him up to Sun Temple. And next, we need the same stuff, only we also need a support tower as well. So we're going to get him up to Super Mines. We also need another permanent brew. Right there. We need a. Let's see, where we can put the plane? Put the plane right there. Yeah, that's well in the end. And we need to get him up to Flying Fortress. Actually, let's just get him to Spy Plane. Why not? Spy Plane. Okay, so that is our magic, our support, and our military. Now we need a prime, our primary. So right there. Okay. And we also need, let's see, we have our primary, we have our military, we have our magic, and we have our support. Now we need, outside of the radius of the temple, we need two super monkeys. One of them going the anti-balloon, and the other one going the, cha the champion, Legend of the Night. The Night! All right, and now I guess I was very under so underestimating uh, how much money this had. Okay, now if we did everything correctly, this should work. Um, to be fair, I don't know if this works in sandbox mode or not, but we're gonna give it a try. To the true sun god. Okay, come on, come on. Nope. Oh, man! Okay, so it appears like you can't get it to activate in sandbox mode. Um, I'll try... I'll, ju I'll throw up a picture right now of what it is supposed to look like with what the uh, temple, ven temple of the Vengeful Sun God is supposed to look like, Corrupted Adora, and the Corrupted Adora Temple map. That was the goal of this episode. Unfortunately, we didn't get to it, but we came very close. I hope you guys did enjoy this episode and me trying to lose my mind just trying to get it. Unfortunately, we couldn't. I 
I honestly thought we could do it. I had so much confidence in it and it just got crushed. So hopefully next time we can get it to activate. I want to thank you guys so much. And as always, take care, everyone. Have an awesome day. Curse you, vengeful sun god. I will see you one day for myself.